Hi guys, my name is Charlotte for anyone that's new here. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys this makeup look. I think it's really pretty and it's great for like a fall family event. I do start in the beginning with the idea that it would be more of a natural everyday look, but that's not what this is. As always, make sure to like and subscribe and keep on watching. We're first going to start by clipping back my hair. Then I'm going to start with some lip balm. I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask as a lip balm. Okay, so then I'm going to start with some moisturizer. And first, I love to spray my face with the Caudalie um, Grape Water. It feels so good. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to put on the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. I'm doing this at night, but um, this has sunscreen in it, which is really important. I'm going to go into some foundation. All right. Let's go into some Laura Mercier foundation in the color Cashew. Very nice. So I'm just going to put it. It's a little dark, but that's fine. I figure it out. <laughs> to keep my forehead kind of blank because I have freckles on there and it typically helps it kind of keep a more natural look even though obviously like this area is a lot more covered um and then for concealer I like this shade for these friends who decided to come to the party such friends they are they weren't invited There we go. Great, right? I look so much better than I did five minutes ago. All I gotta tell you. Now, if you are going to buy anything in this entire video, buy this. Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Not the light loose setting powder, totally different story, not good. So we're gonna let that hang out, chill for a little. We will move on to brown. Okay, so I first brushed up my brows with the Anastasia Brow Definer. Um, I use the color Taupe. Then I go in just in the front. I use this part to kind of define. My brows are a little, are like bigger. Um, the ends, I'm guilty of plucking too much. So what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Uh, oh, I guess not plugging too much, I guess, could be a solution there. Then I have this e.l.f. brush broke, but guess what? I don't care because I'm going to show you what I do with it. I use the Elnet hairspray. So I spray it. Move it around. I feel like this is what drag queens probably do. The icons that they are. And I brush them up. I use that as my brown gel. This is the best thing you could do. Your brows are not going to move all night. So let me bring you guys a little in closer and I'll show you guys what I do with the eyes. So to start off for eyes, I love Jaclyn Morphe. So we're just going to do Jaclyn, I think, today. Okay. So I use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I okay, so we're going to dip into the color silk cream then i hit into the color buns so then to kind of get some like more depth in there i'm gonna i will pop into chip which is a deeper brown and kind of take an Urban Decay brush. I don't know. 
in soda pop and I dip it in also in just Central Park. And then make sure that you go into um, a buffing shade, which I love the shade Pukey. The, the best part of the of an entire look, the eyeshadow shimmer. I will do Obsessed and a little bit of SBN, which Obsessed. You see? And I also, first of all, the wet that you lay down with that helps the shadow pop. And then I will take a little bit of 24-7, which is a darker brown shimmer, and kind of blend it out with my finger. So I just will just blend this out. And I'm not done with the eye. I'll do a little bit underneath, and I will do some inner corner. So we're done with that eye. And I will come back to you guys with a whole new eye on. All right, let's dust off this bake. So I'm obsessed with the Morphe E3 brush. Oh my God. I love the NARS Desert Soft Velvet Press Powder. Okay. So as I said, I was not done with the eyes. We'll go into Central Park. Literally a dab. A dab. And literally, we're not going to bring it in to the inner corner, just the outer. Kind of, kind of like as if this was brought down like that. Back again. Okay. And I bet you all are sitting there like Charlotte, where's the highlighter for your under eye brows and your inner corner? Guess what, girls? I'm getting there, so hold your horses, okay? I love the Becca Moonstone. I have a mini one of it. I just got that one. I love Champagne Pop. I mean, who the heck doesn't? I will use a flat shader brush from Bare Essentials. Oh, wow. So back when Bare Minerals was Bare Essentials, that's fun. So then I'm literally like this, just... I like using more, I, yike, what the heck? I like using a more white highlighter for my brows. Now, if you have not heard about the Milk Flux Highlighter, what are you doing with your life? So, I go in with my inner corner. Bam, bam, bop. Oh my God. Don't underestimate a highlighter, people. They're iconic. Okay. You know what's also iconic? The Dior Show Iconic Overcall Mascara. I like it so much. I have it in waterproof and non-waterproof. When I, I don't know why I got the non-waterproof, but what's she gonna do? I probably shouldn't be using waterproof mascara because that's why my eyelashes are falling out and I should get extensions, but I've also heard that th that causes our eyelashes to fall out. So I'm not really interested in having any of what I just spoke about happen. Curl your lashes, people. It's underrated. This is... A lash curler from Revlon. Look at the difference. Hot to not, people. All right, so now on to the best part, bronzer. This is the Morphe Glamour Bronze, an icon. Then I'm just taking Hoola Bronzer. And that's why I like the tip of the brush because it does a really good job at like making sure it looks blended. Now we do some blush. I don't really do a blush brush. I had one from MAC. I literally love to tell you where it went. But I love this Real Techniques little stippling brush. It's also pink, like blush. So, what I will do is I will take this cream lip and cheek tint from Tory Burch. Don't ask me. I don't know why it's this. It's like got a designer thing for this blush, but I love it. And I typically will just pop on a tiny bit of the Glossier Cloud paint and 
Beam. And then I love the Too Faced Perfect Flush Blush. Looks like that. Cute, right? And then I will go in, blend you all out. Wow, I look I look good. Don't be afraid to toot your own horn, people. Never be afraid to do that. Then, a highlighter brush recommended to me, well, to all of us because I watch your videos, by Jaclyn Hill. This is a Morphe M5 something one. Looks like this. And then into my highlighter from Milk in the color Lit. And I kind of also make sure it's on the apples and my cheeks because it just, oh my god, like so pretty, right? Now we are pretty much done, people, except for lips. I love these Too Faced um, lip glosses I got in a holiday collection. They're really great. I don't use the, I mean, I use clear sometimes, I guess. Um, but I really, and I like pink too, but I really love these two. This one's so pretty because it adds a great amount of, like, color without being too annoying. It's a good, like, I feel like it's a good holiday color, you know? But this is pretty, and that's in the color Spice Cake. They also smell really good. Like taste, I don't know if it's supposed to taste like spice, spice cake, but it definitely feels like fall scented. And then I love the color eggnog. Oh, let's swatch for you guys. Look at how pretty that swatch is. Right? And then I will set with the Urban Decay D Slick. So that is the finished look, guys. I love this very pretty eye. I love this kind of more red look, and I love how highlighted and dewy. I look, and this will last a long time for like a family event or something, or if you're going out with girlfriends. It is a really great makeup look. I would not say that this is natural. I mean, I think it's more of like a natural type of look. It's definitely not like blue eyeshadow or something, but I really love the like kind of effortless nature of this makeup look, and I also just love how it looks so make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any ideas or any other videos you'd like to see from me make sure to comment down below and I'm super excited to do more makeup tutorials on this channel so as always I will see you guys next time bye